since December 1999, the Heat have called the same arena their home, though that location has had a number of different names over the years. First, from December 1999 to May 2021, it was named the American Airlines Arena. Then, from June 2021 to December 2022, it was known as the FTX Arena. Later, from January 2023 to March that year, the building was known as the Miami-Dade Arena. Currently, since April 2023, the arena has been known as the Carsea Center. But it could have been known as something else given that both FTX and Carsea had at least one major competitor when it came to negotiating for the arena's naming rights, the adult entertainment film studio Bang Bros. In September 2019, American Airlines announced that it would not renew its naming rights for the arena when they expired at the end of the year. Due to the COVID-19 pandemic, renaming the building was put on hold until March 2021 when cryptocurrency exchange FTX acquired the rights with a 19-year, $135 million deal. The NBA approved the offer in April and the stadium was officially renamed FTX Arena in June 2021. However, in November 2022, FTX would go into bankruptcy which led to the termination of their contract for the arena's naming rights. From June 2023 through to March that year, the arena became temporarily known as Miami-Dade Arena before the Miami-based software company Casea signed a 17-year, $117 million agreement in April 2023. Back when American Airlines announced that they had relinquished their naming rights to the arena back in 2019, Bang Bros had quickly put in a bid with the intentions of naming it the Bang Bros Center, or BBC for short. I get it! According to Bang Bros, the deal would have been a perfect match. Though the company was now owned internationally following a sale in 2017, Bang Bros was founded in Miami in 2000 and still operated there. So, with the combination of the company's long-standing history with the city, the fact that beautiful women are synonymous with both the company and Miami in general, and that, at the time, the Heat seemed poised to achieve another level of success after signing Jimmy Butler earlier in the year in July 2019, Bang Bros wanted to share in the new wave of greatness that the Heat seemed poised to make. Butler looks like he's going for the win! Butler heaves! Bang Bros' offer was $10 million for a decade of naming rights, which pales in comparison to what FTX and Casea ended up actually paying. So, understandably, it was speculated that Bang Bros' offer was just a publicity stunt, which was almost certainly the case. Just a month before their offer to the Heat, in August 2019, the company had bought a website that leaked personal details about adult entertainers. Bang Bros bought the site specifically to destroy it, as they immediately shut it down before posting a video of hard drives on fire. Whether the company was motivated by altruism or simply self-interest, buying and shutting down the website generated great publicity for a company operating in an industry that isn't generally known for prioritizing their employees' welfare. And Bang Bros' offer to the Heat proved to be yet another great piece of self-promotion as their offer was way too small to be taken seriously but still managed to generate significant attention on social media. Understandably, following the collapse of FTX, Bang Bros submitted yet another offer for the naming rights of the arena. Again, predictably, Bang Bros' resubmission generated a decent amount of attention and, as a testament to the effectiveness of having an unlikely business make an offer way too small to be taken seriously for the sake of publicity, Bang Bros found themselves with some competition, Miami's booby trap Gentleman's Club. However, their offer was only $5 million and there was no specification of how long the proposed deal would last. Regardless of the details, there was little to no chance that the NBA would have ever approved either the Bang Bros or the booby trap's offers. Because, due to the nature of their business, there was of course backlash for both companies for trying to align themselves with the NBA given that the league is supposed to be family friendly. Not that Bang Bros or the Booby Trap cared about being seen as either inappropriate or opportunistic. I'm a porno dealing monster, what do I care what you think?